set up the ExpressVote XL for voting, break the green cover seal and remove the black protective cover. Plug in the power cord on the left side of the ExpressVote XL into an electrical outlet. The green light next to the power cord should illuminate, indicating that the ExpressVote XL has power. The power status panel, located on the upper left corner of the ExpressVote XL touchscreen, will indicate when the ExpressVote XL is charging. Lock the wheels. In the back on the ExpressVote XL, on the back of the access compartment door, Verify and break the green seal. Tilt the screen up and lift the gray screen cover. Use the barrel key found in the white materials box to open the access compartment door. Inside the access compartment, press and release the red power button to turn on the ExpressVote XL and verify the do not break seal. Close the access compartment door lock using the barrel key. In the back on the ExpressVote XL, on the back of the access compartment door, attach yellow seal. In the back of the ExpressVote XL, verify and break the green rear door seal. Using the barrel key, open rear storage compartment door to locate ADA peripherals. Verify that the ADA device is plugged into the ExpressVote XL via the USB port. Ensure that the ADA device's cable is properly threaded through the upper left side of the rear door. Remove the privacy curtain from the storage tube on the rear of the ExpressVote XL. Insert the curtain rods into the mounting brackets on either side of the ExpressVote XL cart. Loosen the white plastic clamps on the mounting brackets to adjust the curtain height. Retighten the white plastic clamps once the desired height has been achieved. Enter the election code found in the white materials box onto the screen. Push the green open poll button on the ExpressVote Excel screen. Re-enter the election code. The zero tape will automatically print. Verify that all results are zero. Sign the printed tape. Push continue on the screen. Select go to voting on the screen. The Express Vote XL is ready for voting. Fully American Disability Act compliant, Philadelphia's new voting system provides all voters with the assistance necessary to cast their vote. Voters with visual, hearing, and physical disabilities can utilize the universal voting console connected to the ExpressVote XL to make voting selections, finalize, print, and cast their ballot. Remove yellow seal and use the barrel key to unlock the access compartment door. Press the black mode toggle switch and wait for screen to change to the supervisor menu. On the screen, press the blue close poll button. And results tapes will automatically print. Sign the results tapes. Once the ExpressVote XL reads, device closed and collected, safe to remove USB stick, remove the USB stick from the access compartment. Press on screen button to power off the ExpressVote XL. Select the shutdown option on screen. Close and lock the access compartment door and lower gray screen cover. Using the barrel key, 
unlock the rear storage compartment door and place the ADA peripherals back in the rear storage compartment. Attach the red rear door seal once all items are in the rear storage compartment. Using the barrel key, unlock the paper path module door located to the right of the clear preview window. Inside the paper path module, press the green lever and release the ballot hopper from the Express Vote XL. Seal the ballot hopper with the metal hopper seal. Store sealed ballot hoppers in the hopper sack. Replace curtain in the tube at the back of the Express Vote XL. Unplug the power cord from the electrical outlet and secure cord onto the Express Vote XL cart. Put the black protective cover back on the Express Vote XL and seal with the red cover seal. Results reports, USB sticks, and hopper sack go with the police officer at the end of the night. Thank you for working to support Philadelphia's free and fair election process.